Hello, my name is Louise Farner with JD Edwards Enterprise One Product Strategy. It's my pleasure to show you the new JD Edwards Health and Safety Incident Management Solution. Occupational incidents are a serious matter and companies are regulated to track and report them. Our new solution provides a comprehensive way to track, manage, and report health and safety incidents of all kinds, not simply those that involve injured employees. You can also track near misses and potential incidents. J.D. Edwards Health and Safety Incident Management provides for the entire process from the initial reporting of an incident through to reporting it to OSHA and analyzing it to gain valuable insight. You can track all types of people involved with your incidents, not simply injured employees, but third party or contractors, witnesses, and even perpetrators. You can manage incidents that have some sort of environmental impact, such as, such as an inadvertent, inadvertent spill or release, and record any property, equipment, or motor vehicles involved as well. We also have a companion product, OneView Reporting for Health and Safety Incident Management, that provides five separate applications to analyze your incidents, calculate the industry standard safety metrics, and dive into the details of incidents involving people, equipment, or that have an environmental impact. Let's take a quick tour of this new and exciting solution. Any employee can immediately report an incident on the spot using a tablet device from the incident location. They can enter the core details with as little or as much information as they know. Key details include what, when, who, and where. Once the incident is reported, it immediately sends notification via emails to those that need to know. The safety officer or other authorized person can enter the incident master from a special health and safety E1 page to put additional details about the incident once it's been investigated. There's even a safety scoreboard to show you the number of days since the last incident. This is the incident record showing the core details in the header and other information arranged intuitively in tabs and sections that can easily be accessed. Using the location information of the incident, either a street address or latitude and longitude coordinates, we can see a map of where the incident took place. The responsibility section provides for additional information about who was responsible for the incident, if drug and alcohol testing was involved, and other risk and causal fields. If there was any type of environmental impact as a result of the incident, it can be reported in the environmental impact section. Costs can be tracked against the incident, both estimated and actual, and tasks can be assigned when, and also tracked. When someone's been assigned a task, they're automatically notified via email. The People tab allows us to record information about anybody that's been associated with the incident, employees and non-employees alike, victims, witnesses, first responders, etc. The People Details button takes us to a form to enter additional information related to a person associated with the incident. Some of this information can default in from the employee master, but that's optional. Scrolling down, we can see that there's a lot of information that can be captured for people on an incident. We can see also that there's fields necessary to do the regulatory reporting. Moving on to the Equipment tab, we can track property for any, we can track any property, equipment, or motor vehicles associated with the incident. The equipment details takes us to a form like the people information where we can put in additional information. Equipment doesn't have to belong to the company. We can also track third-party vehicles or third-party equipment as well. Let's take a look at one of the regulatory reports, the OSHA 300. Using Embedded BI, we can produce reports that adhere to the standard template provided by the regulatory agency. This report is ready to submit. As I mentioned, there's a one-view reporting solution for health and safety incident management. It's very comprehensive, including five separate applications. There's 15 out-of-the-box reports that have 218 individual reporting components, graphs, and tables. Let's look at the incident summary. This application allows you to analyze your incidents using key classifications, looking for trends or insight. You can also analyze the impact of your incidents, such as lost time and the financial cost, 
I'm going to select the Incident Attributes Report. This report can be run interactively or you can produce PDF, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, and other formats. If you want to save this off and email it out, that would be a format that you'd want to use. If you want to look at it interactively, it's very easy to do as well. This tells me what type of incidents are more prevalent than others. It allows me to analyze incidents on key attributes such as severity and status. And I can look at incidents across time, by month or by year. Causal information gives me valuable insight as well. This is just one of the, one of the 15 reports. Each of the reports also prints the supporting data in a, in a table at the bottom of the report. That's our peek into health and safety incident management. Thank you for your interest.